All right, welcome folks. We are going to take something that we made in Fusion 360, get the outline on a PDF, on a blank PDF, and send that over to a laser cutter so we can get that laser cut. Um, so first things first, I had a sketch, I extruded it. The extrusion really doesn't matter as long as there's a body. Um, the body has edges that we can see in a drawing. That's the whole goal. You won't, you won't be able to take a sketch and go right to a PDF. Um, so we had a sketch, I extruded it, I have this shape. So now I'm going to go to design, drawing, from design, and that gives me some options that my face is covering. Uh, this is going visible only. It's the only thing that is visible, so that's fine. You could also select or pull the full thing in if that made sense for you. Um, the default sheet for me is good enough. If you were printing something larger that's going to fill uh, the bed of the laser cutter, you may go down to the A0. It's the largest sheet on here, uh, but this is good enough for me. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to load our drawing and default to a base view on whatever is the front uh, when it was drawn. Now, the front for me is, well, the bottom. That's not what I wanted. Uh, that's what came up because that's just where the part was. So if I can change that over here with orientation instead of the front, I actually want the top as it's labeled in the thing because uh, that is the view that I want. I want to see that outline. Um, also pay attention to the scale. Depending what the defaults are or what the last thing you use, sometimes it will come in at half scale. Well, that's a problem because I want the, this image to be full scale, one-to-one. -one. So make sure this scale is one-to-one. -one. So the dimensions on the page are the dimensions of the product. All right, so I'm going to click to place that. And I am happy with the rest of these. Click OK. And there is my cam. This is important. I don't want to print this border or this title block. So... I'm going to click it and delete it, click it and delete it, and have only the object that I want laser cut um, on here. So once we have this sheet, let's save it and name it accordingly. Crank handle, vex axle, drawing, good enough, save. And we're going to go to PDF export. What this does, it exports the PDF specifically, and I'm going to say all sheets right now. That's fine. This is the only sheet I have open, so I could also say current sheet and have it open that PDF so we can see it. Um, this is going to make a PDF. More importantly, it makes a vector PDF. And a vector PDF, pay attention to where you save this, by the way, downloads. A vector PDF does isn't based on pixels. It's based on equations. So there are mathematical equations that define where these lines are and where those squares are and where that circle is. And that way, no matter how much you zoom in, it'll keep the same review, but all the lines will stay sharp. It doesn't get pixelated no matter how much you zoom in. Um, so a laser cutter is gonna need that because it wants to know exactly where to cut. You can engrave um, pictures, JPEGs, uh, uh, pixelated images, raster images, but you cannot cut those images. We needed vector things to do that. So you can either use an SVG, scalable vector graphic, or a PDF. Some PDFs are based on vectors, some aren't. The ones you export from a drawing file are vector PDFs. So that's what we want. And if we zoomed out of this, it's just a blank sheet with our crank handle on it. So that's a file. Once you get into the um, Glowforge app, you upload that file and the borders won't come in because there's something else there. You'll just have this object right there. And in fact, if you had more than one crank on here separated, they should come in as different objects and you can move them around. So that's the idea. Make a sketch, extrude it a little bit, um, make a drawing from that with the face that you want, one-to-one -one scale, um, and then export that as a PDF, and that PDF you can upload onto the Glowforge app.